Hi, I'm Oli, and our team wrote the Git Credential Manager for Mac and Linux, which we also call the GCM for ML. I'm excited to show you the new OAuth 2.0 Device Flow feature, which lets you use any web browser on any device if a web browser won't open on your computer. This can happen if you have an old version of Java, you don't have JavaFX, or the JavaFX web browser doesn't work. I like using the keyboard, so I will call out what keys I hit when you can't see what I did. Let's start by downloading from GitHub. Of course you can use your web browser or even better homebrew to download the GCM for ML. I have Java 1.7. I ask the GCM for ML to install itself. This changes the git config file to make git call the GCM for ML when it needs a password. Let's try running a git clone to download from the git repository in Visual Studio Team Services. Did you know you get unlimited git repositories, 5 free users, and as many stakeholders as you want in Team Services? Look at that, I've never used it from this computer, so it wants me to sign in using the JavaFX web browser. We already know this works well, so let's see what happens when I close it. I hit Command Q to close the window. The built-in sign-in didn't work, so it's telling me how I can use any web browser to sign in. I want to show you something more interesting. I hit Ctrl C to stop the GCM for ML. I remove Java 1.7. I still have Java 1.6. I have to install the GCM for ML again, because if I don't, the GCM for ML will try to use Java 1.7. Java 1.6 did not have Java effects, so we go right to device flow. To keep it simple, I will use the same computer. Let's copy those letters and numbers. I double click the code and hit Command C. Let's go to Safari. I hit Command T to open a new tab. I type aka.ms slash device login and hit enter. I paste in the box by hitting Command V and then I hit the continue button. I enter my email address and hit tab. I enter my password and hit enter. I use my mobile device to complete the multi-factor authentication. I'm signed in. Let's go back to the other window. Within about 5 seconds, the GCM4 email notices that I authenticated, so it asks Team Services for a personal access token and gives it to Git to start the clone. On a Mac, the personal access token is stored in the keychain. While that token is valid, I can clone, fetch from, and push to any Git repository inside this Team Services account. If the token becomes invalid, the GCM 4ML will ask me to sign in again. That's it! For more information and to talk to the Java and cross-platform team, visit us at java.visualstudio.com. Dot com.